you know, I have no idea what's actually going on here. I know Hasbro owns My Little Pony, but who in the world is TF1 in tennis? I, I really have no idea. I mean, I found a website in French that's called TF1 something, and it basically seems to be just like a French Netflix, but I have no idea if the TF1 that's claiming my My Little Pony video is this TF1. I assume so, though, because this claimant did block the video in six countries, and pretty much all of them were under French jurisdiction. And if I'm not mistaken, this TF1 seems fairly similar to the same TF1 that claimed Mis the mysterious Mr. Enter's Norm of the North review a few years back. And I mean, Hasbro, I can understand because here's the thing. When I uploaded the video, like when I literally first uploaded it, it was tagged by Hasbro's automatic system. So basically it was matched by a computer error or a robot. It didn't get through without any computer claims. So the one at the bottom is Hasbro Studios LLC, who claimed a fair use video of My Little Pony. I also need to point out that pretty much every clip I use in this video is narrated over. There's only one clip that I ever let move freely, and it's not even claimed under that clip. I mean, if you look at the claims of clips that they matched here, then you will realize that it doesn't make any sense. TF1 antennas in particular, because I don't see how they can own any of this. Oh, and by the way, this French Netflix site kind of thing, it does not have My Little Pony even available. Also, here's the funny story about TF1 antennas. I mean, again, I said that Hasbro's claim was matched by a computer error. TF1 antennas came really late. Like, I was actually woken up at like 4 o'clock in the morning, Central Standard Time. I looked on my YouTube and I found the TF1 claim which I wasn't even going to deal with until I actually woke up. So I filed a dispute against TF1 antennas, and mind you, this is like many hours after I disputed the official Hasbro claim. And I say official because look at what's under it. Hasbro Studios LLC. This is what's more confusing to me. It seems like a French company that tries to claim a fair use video on behalf of a multinational company for an American slash Canadian cartoon. Of course I disputed it. And as you can see here, both disputes were rejected by both companies. So yeah, that, di that does mean I had to give my information to these random people for my video to be viewable, at least for 24 hours. And by all means, it seems like TF1 was hired by Hasbro to make this claim. I really don't see why a French company should be involved with this, let alone block it in six French countries. Like, I think I remember a few off the top of my head. Um, let me see. It was blocked in, of course, France. It was also blocked in French Guiana, French Polynesia. Uh, the French Southern Territories. So, yeah, I don't know how this copyright claiming could be any more ludicrous. 
but this does also mean that my video and my channel are susceptible to strikes now. I'm not saying it'll be terminated, but I'm just putting it out there because my channel isn't exactly healthy right now. But you already know where this is going, right? Hasbro is just claiming a 100% fair use video and using possibly this French company for it. Also, do you want to know how I got Hasbro to reject my dispute? Well, I didn't really do that. I just played a trick on them to see if it would work. Well, here's what I did. For a while, Hasbro didn't reject my dispute. I stayed off of all of my online presences for an unusual long amount of time. And then I came back to my YouTube channel and Gmail after that time. And there you go. My dispute was apparently rejected. Like, guys, you, you got to give me credit here. I predicted Hasbro's own copyright move because I knew it was going to happen. And guys, um, be aware that it could happen to anyone. So I'm just giving you all a heads up on not just my channel, but what your channel could be like.